Hello and Happy New Year, Mike Adcock with an update on Tropical Cyclone Bejeza east of Madagascar in the southwestern Indian Ocean. This briefing is based on the 06 Zulu Meteor of France advisory from the 1st of January 2014. Uh, taking a look at satellite imagery, uh, do see a better improved system from what we saw yesterday. Uh, a lot of that improvement's been over the, or was over the last hour prior to the advisory time. You start to see the uh, eye starting to appear here on satellite. Uh, as of the 6 Zulu advisory, this is 9 a.m. Madagascar time or 10 a.m. there in Reunion. Uh, the center of circulation was located about 430 kilometers uh, east northeast of Toamasina or 475 kilometers north-northwest of St. Denis in Reunion. This system is continuing to move off toward the south at a pretty fast pace, 19 kilometers per hour. Winds are still about 150 kilometers per hour and the pressure holding steady at 965 hectopascal. Uh, taking a look at the Dvorak analyses across the, por across the board looking at 5.0, the only difference being JTWC had a current intensity a little higher at 5.5. Uh, looking at, at the uh, Dvorak enhancement do see a, a lot better system than what we've seen the eyes much easier to locate now than over the past um, six to twelve hours really like what uh, the basis of the Dvorak analyses and the current intensity is really set on this light gray eye that you see here on satellite uh, surrounded by generally a white field a little bit of breaks in the eastern side and again that's uh, contributed quite a bit to that uh, a re eyewall replacement cycle. Uh, so turn our attention over to the uh, surface analysis. Really not a whole lot of change in the forecast uh, thought process here. Do have this area of high pressure uh, off to the southeast expecting that to start to weaken um, over the next couple of days. That's going to allow uh, Bejeza to start to shift more toward the southeast on Thursday and Friday. That's going to bring it uh, to a pretty close um, proximity to re uh, Reunion. By that time, uh, as we get to the end of the week, um, high pressure should rebuild. You should see a uh, shift back toward the southwest. And about that time, uh, Bejeza will start to get influenced by increasing shear, cooler waters. So at that point, it should be weakening. And that is reflected on the Reunion forecast. Again, uh, that shift starting really over the next 12 hours toward the southeast, toward uh, Reunion. Um, very close, close pass late on Thursday uh, night. And then at that point, you should see the shift back to the southwest as pressure, high pressure builds back in. And then, of course, a weakening system with the cooler waters and increasing shear due to, a, uh, due to an approaching trough. And this is pretty much repeated in the Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecast. The only big difference here is the initial intensity. JTWC starting us off with 95 knots, gusts up to 115. That's 175 kilometers per hour with gusts to 215 kilometers per hour. But again, the uh, forecast mindset here is pretty much on point with the weakening, allowing the shift to the southeast, and then that high pressure building back in, shifting us to the southwest. Uh, take a look at the surface weather plots. A uh, couple areas of rain showers along the east coast of Madagascar, around the uh, uh, far fringes of the cyclone, taking a look uh, well off to the south and southeast uh, where Reunion and uh, Mauritius is. Uh, again, just increased cloudiness right now, not seeing a whole lot in terms of precipitation. Matter of fact, take a quick look at St. Denis. Uh, winds are starting to kick up though. This is as of 8 Zulu. Uh, winds are gusting 31 kilometers per hour sustained with gusts 248. Uh, but the pressure is still awfully high at this time at 1,011.1 hectopascal. Of course, uh, go ahead and follow us and join in on the conversation at storm2k.org. We're going to continue to monitor the progress of this storm. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day and take care.